Welcome back everybody to Lynn and Mariosh at Magpie Farm. We are super excited to share with you this week our new video. It shows our attempt at putting the external heating stack up for the heating install that's going to happen in around two weeks time. Uh, that was a project and a half and we still got an awful lot of work to do on there and uh, it was a bit scary at times I can assure you of that. <laughs> And we're also going to check in on the chicks as they now move to the outside uh, chicken coop area. They'll stay in their quarantine pen for a little while, uh, but, you know, they're coming along quite nicely. Also, we will have a quick sneak peek at the polytunnel and what a difference two weeks makes from what it actually was. <laughs> Today is the big day that we move these over to the main chicken coop area. They will be staying in the quarantine pen for another two or three or four weeks even until they just grow a little bit bigger. But they will be able to see the other chickens. So let's see how they get on with that. Okay, and time for them now to go on their journey. <laughs> Come in to have a look. What's going on here? Come on, man. Up three, one, two, three. Oh. Right, you need to come in then and go left. Yeah. They can go in. Do you want to put them in the corner by you? down a bit is it or is that okay? Okay, I'll get a bit of straw and get their food. Yes, that's fine. Nothing happens. <laughs> They're looking like, okay, what's happening here? Yeah.
side amongst you will notice we no longer have the electric fencer uh, we made a decision decision in the week to actually let them roam a bit further it's been fine this far there's been no problems no problems at all and they're certainly enjoying the extra freedom although because we haven't fixed the fence and the gate going into the kitchen garden I do get a shock every now and again when I go in to wash some dishes or something and one of them will jump up on the windowsill and then we went on to the chimney install this is a temporary chimney we say temporary five to ten years that'll go on the external side wall of the garage that's where the main furnaces go in and then the furnace will actually supply heat to the cottage and the rest of the main house we first of all had to get our heads around the actual length we sort of had a rough idea obviously because we uh, ordered it and ordered a certain amount of it but we wasn't aware of the weight we wasn't aware of the practicalities of putting it up as you will see from this next part of the video it was hard work and wasn't easy to say the least and first we had to get the bracket up to be able to hold the weight of it so we'd already created the hole at this point as you can see in the video uh, for the main vent to go into the garage itself and then we had to create uh, fixings for the bracket that in itself wasn't particularly easy because we needed to ensure that it could hold the weight of this chimney which was no small feat we then realized we hadn't actually taken down the weather station uh, so we needed to get that weather station down uh, to be able to proceed with it so we got that down and then the real work started the chimney itself as you can see is modular so from that perspective it was relatively easy not <laughs> we had to then put these rings around it to be able to seal the individual sections uh, in place as you can see Mario is doing now we then started the process or should I say Mario started the process of uh, inserting the individual parts of it in place now the lower parts were a lot easier to, to put in but again you had to get them lined up and you had to get those sort of like old giant o-rings uh, to be able to clamp both sections of it together with them being treated as well with a, a sort of a, a fireproof silicon type sealant really And this is where Mario should have come and asked for some help to do this. I knew he was doing the bottom layers of it, but he then decided uh, just to crack on on his own. And this is when things uh, potentially could have gone very badly wrong. So first of all, he gets the big metal ladder out of one of our barns, which weighs a ton in itself. He then goes on to put the second section in. Okay, that's not too bad. Even though we struggled with the ladder. Of course, reviewing this footage after he, we both agreed that, you know, he just should have simply come and said, we need to get this done together. This particular element, because, you know, why struggle when you don't have to? But 
he just likes to get on and crack on with it. And then we have to check that everything is plumb, as he calls it. Uh, I think that means level and straight. Uh, there is some adjustment you can do on the pipe itself. Uh, but it's better to do it, he says, as you're going along. Otherwise it saves a lot of work later if it isn't. Then he gets to the point of the final bracket going in. And this is where things could have gone very seriously wrong and he could have hurt himself badly. So his first attempt on his own, unbeknownst to me, he thinks twice about it. He gets up more or less to the three quarters of the ladder and then thinks better of it and comes back down again. Thank goodness. And it's at this point then he's come in to get me to try and uh, help him put this up. I sort of give a good indication beforehand. I didn't think this was going to work uh, the way we were trying to do it. But he basically had me to have a, a very long piece of uh, wood to actually try to take some of the weight of the chimney as he tried to slot it in. And as you can see from this part of the video, it didn't work and it could have gone very, very badly wrong. That's not going to work that. It's not tall enough. Mario. It's not tall enough. This wood isn't. <laughs> I 
I got the ladder. <laughs> Help me hold it. I got it. Do you want me to try going up there? Sorry? Do you want me to try going up there? No! You won't make it, believe me. <sighs> Time was then very much against us the next day. Um, for some reason, we didn't actually record the footage, but we managed to get the chimney in uh, by using a ladder either side of the actual chimney, I going up one and Mario going up the done. other. And now is the time to actually test it. And as you can see, we have smoke. The chimney worked and it was sealed and there was sufficient drag on the chimney to actually do the job. So uh, well done, Mario. He worked bloody hard on getting this done. And we saved ourselves a heck of a lot of money. Even if he did nearly kill himself in the process. Yeah. And we've also been doing some TLC as well in the house. Just some little bits and bobs because the weather hasn't been so good in different areas. Just, you know, little bits and bobs as they say. All makes life a little bit easier. And then we also went on to do some doors. Uh, you will recall I painted a number of the doors over the last uh, two weeks. So then we decided, because a number of the doors were dragging slightly, uh, these are old, old heavy doors. Uh, we reckon they're around uh, 60, 70 years old, if if not slightly older. Uh, the uh, original owners uh, of the house said that uh, they were installed around uh, 1950. So uh, we needed to take them down a bit because they had suffered some damp damage at the bottom and we wanted to shave that off and also treat it and also get in a position where where we are putting uh, regs in there and ready to replace the floor in the passage. to help seal it against any future damp related issues. Eventually, we don't want it, yes? I don't think it's going to rip the carpet, so just move that, move that rug right away. And so after giving the bottom of the door a good luck, as they call it, uh, we then went on to actually refitting the door and they are heavy, heavy doors. 
Now we need to move it to this then, to there, so we don't. And then we finally get the door on. Finger up, mate. No, move it. Okay, fingers off. Yeah. Fingers off. And another yeah, job back, off the tick list, as they yeah, say. But that was one yeah, of yeah. Uh, four doors that we actually did that day. And then we started on the upgrade to the poly tunnel. Many of you would have remembered that we nearly lost this poly tunnel uh, around two weeks ago. And we always had major plans to upgrade it. And here are some of the plans. We managed to get a number of the rows into raised beds. And I think you'll see that's been to really good effect. And I'm really looking forward to our planting season for next year. Okay. It's not 100% finished. As you can see, I'd say we're 95% of the way there and at least ready for this for spring. What a difference this is compared to just two weeks ago when we thought it was potentially all over for this polytunnel. This upgrade. I am really, really happy with. Tell us what you think.